make a decision right now. If you can still follow it, but I promise. If you're going to live behind you with ruptured arms, you will suffer. You'll be with the Antichrist. Do it now. Make a decision now. This world is a fallen world. We are not permanent here. But don't let your heart be troubled in sin. You ready to go? Don't let your heart be troubled. It doesn't matter what you're going through. Don't let your heart be troubled. Because in Christ, He's going to be with us. Let's say it. As He is, and so are we in this world. So if He is, and so are we in this world, we, we are the same as He is. We are the same as He is, as He in this world. He, whatever He is in this world, we are the same. Amen? We are the same as Him. Can someone say amen? We are set apart. We are holy people. Can someone say amen? Just like Him. We are not common people. Just like the world is common people. They're full of trouble and fear. Can someone say amen? And verse 18. There is no fear in love, but perfect love passes out fear, because fear hath torment. He that feareth is not made perfect in love. Okay, let's let's all say this. There is no fear in love. There is no fear in love. Let's say it again. There is no fear in love. No fear in love. Perfect love casteth out fear. Perfect. I'm gonna let's say it. Perfect love, love. casteth out fear. Because the perfect love comes from Jesus, right? Amen. Be everyone say, because uh, fear, fear. hath torment. He that feareth is not perfect in love. Let's say it again. He that feareth is not made perfect in love. You see, church, fear has torment. It says in the Bible, the fear has torment. Torment. It can torment you. It can torment your soul. Amen? When fear comes, it will torment your soul. It will torment your, your head, your heart. It will torment you until there is no peace, until it, it, it affects your health, and eventually we will die. Amen? Because fear has torment. I don't want to be in the torment. Who wants to be in torment? Nobody wants to be in torment. Fear has torment. That's what we say In the book of Revelation, the fearful and believing will go to the lake of fire. That's the first one that he, that he said it. But the fearful, fearful and believing will go to the lake of fire. Amen? He says here, fear has torment. That is, that is something else. That's, that's big. That's huge. Fear has torment. Everyone say, fear, fear. has torment. And you don't want to be part of it. That torment thing. You don't want to be a part of it. Let's go 2 Corinthians 4. 2 Corinthians 4, verse 8. 8. Hallelujah. Chapter 4, verse, verse, thank you, Jesus. Everybody say, thank you, Jesus. Thank you. Uh, chapter 4, verse 8. Verse 8. We are troubled on every side, yet not distressed. We are perplexed, but not in despair. Number 9. Persecuted, but not forsaken. Cast down, but not I will say hallelujah. Uh, Do you see the contrast with this? There is a contrast with this. He said, we are troubled on every side, yet not distressed. We are not crushed. Everyone say, I am not. Everyone say, I am not. Crushed. We are troubled, but we are not crushed. Why? Because we have Jesus. We are perfect, but not to be scared. We might be suffering right now, physical ailment, we, we're suffering with this coronavirus. We're suffering with this with this economy. We're suffering with this with this with this pandemic. We're suffering about finances, but we are not crushed. Everyone say, I am not crushed. We are not persecuted. People will dislike you because you talk about Jesus all the time. Some people, if you talk about Jesus all the time, they don't believe in Jesus anymore because how come there's a coronavirus and Jesus is not taking it away? How come you die? How come people die and he's not, he's not answering the, 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 the prayer no more? We are being persecuted. Persecuted but not 
de- forsaken. Everyone say, I am not forsaken. Never again. Because it said, I will be with you always. Never again. That's what I say, amen. He said that, I will be with you always. Cast down, but not destroyed. We will not be destroyed. Why? Even the physical body be destroyed. We will not be destroyed. We will be with him forever. That's what I say, amen. If you're born again, if you're born again, hallelujah. Everyone say hallelujah. hallelujah. Verse 10, look at verse 10. Always bearing about in the body that dies of the Lord Jesus, that the life also of Jesus might be made manifest in our body. 11. For we which live are always delivered unto death for Jesus' sake, that the life also of Jesus might be made manifest in our mortal flesh. Okay, even if we die, like I said here, even if we die physically, we still be alive in Him. Because that, that's the promise, right? Okay? And look at verse 18. While we look not at the things which are seen, but at the things which are not seen. For the things which are seen are temporal, but the things which are not seen are eternal. And what is it? The things which are not seen are eternal. So we're troubled with many things. These are temporal. Can someone say amen? amen. We're troubled with many things. We trouble what we see on TV. We trouble what we hear from media. We trouble about this coronavirus. We trouble about our money. We trouble about, about our, our, our children. We trouble about our husband. We trouble about so many things. We trouble about our, our, our material things. But these are, what does it say here? Whatever you have seen are temporal. It's temporary. Everyone say, seen, things that are seen. Everyone say, things which are seen are temporal. It's not, it's not, it's not, it's not eternal. But the things which are not seen are eternal. What are the things that are not seen? The things that are not seen are your faith. Amen? That's what I say, amen. The faith, the, uh, the, uh, the Jesus, the Holy Ghost. Amen? Can someone say amen? The Holy Ghost, which are not seen, are eternal. The Word of God, the Word of God will stand forever and ever. Hallelujah. I got, I got actually, I got actually uh, one last verse. Everyone say hallelujah. Hallelujah. God has not given us a spirit of fear, but what He has given us. But He has given us the, the spirit of power, Everyone say power, power. Love, love, and sound mind. These are, but the, the fear didn't come from God. No. The fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom, yes. But the fear that you that we have didn't come from God. Can someone say amen? Look at Adam and Eve. Adam, Eve, where are you? God is talking to them. What are they doing? They, they hid themselves. Amen? Amen? <laughs> Because they were afraid. They hid themselves. And they put some clothing on them, like, like me. They're afraid. They're afraid. Where are you? They're afraid. Because that fear came from Satan. He injected that into their hearts. Can someone say amen? There was no repentance at that time. Not, not one of them say, I'm sorry, Lord. I'm sorry I made a mistake. Not Eve, not Adam said, I'm sorry, oh Lord. Nobody. But he said, there's pride in your heart because of what the man you gave me. You gave me a man. You gave me a woman. You gave me a snake here. <laughs> That's complaining now, amen? That's what's happening in the world right now. Because of this, even, even the parents, sometimes I, 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 I look at the fault of my husband. I will not look at the fault of my husband. Because of him, because of him. That's self-centered. We have to look at ourselves too. Can someone say amen? Amen. Because, because of them, because of this, because of this, you, you blame God. <laughs> Hallelujah. It looks like they blame him. So what, what, kind, what kind of compassion he got? His, his mercy is still with them. He only kicked them out of the paradise. That's all he did. <laughs> he's still a good God. If he's a bad God, then they, he, will, he will just let them die. Amen? He will just kick them up. He's still a God of mercy. He just kicked them up. But there was no repentance. 
There was no repentance. That's why, that's why we live in a fallen world. Because I was amen. We are sinners by nature. We live in a fallen world. We will die. All men die. But we have a permanent residence. Those who believe on him, you better do it now, church. Do it now. Make a decision right now. Because tomorrow is not a promise. If you're going to live behind you and rock your thumbs, you will suffer. You'll be with the Antichrist. Do it now. Make a decision now. This world is a fallen world. We are not permanent here. But don't let your heart be troubled in sin. You ready to say, don't let your heart be troubled. Because no matter what you're going through, don't let your heart be troubled. Because he promised he's going to be with us. So don't say amen. He prepared a place for us. Those who believe in him. Look at Isaiah 54. I'm going to end here. Someone, someone say praise the Lord. This is the last one, I, Isaiah 54, verse 13. This is my last one. Verse 13 to 17. Everyone say, thank you, Jesus. This is my last verse, verses. Isaiah 54, verse 13 to, to 17. This is the promise of God with the righteous children. Hallelujah. Verse 13 to 17. Everyone say hallelujah. hallelujah. And all the children shall be taught of the Lord, and great shall be the peace of thy children. Amen. And righteousness shall not be established, thou shalt be far from oppression, for thou shalt not fear, and from terror, for it shall not come near thee. Okay, you don't stop there. All thy children. Everyone, everyone say all thy children shall be taught of the Lord and shall, shall be peace on thy children. You're a believer in God? Just like Pastor always saying, a, a, a non-believer husband or non-believer wife will be sanctified to a believer wife or believer husband. Can someone say amen? And you too, you, you, you're thinking about your children, we're thinking about our family who are not safe, but it's safe here, and all thy children shall be taught of the Lord. Can someone say amen? Don't let your heart be troubled. God is going to find a way to seek them. God is going to find a way to, for them to seek the Lord. God is going to find a way for them to know about the Lord. Can someone say amen? God is going to search their heart. And they, you, you know what? For, for your sake, because you're a believer in God. Can someone say amen? And great shall be the peace of thy children. Peace. Everyone say peace. In righteousness shalt thou be established. Thou shalt be far from oppression. Thou shalt not fear from terror, for it shall not come near thee. Can someone say amen? Let's say it. I will not fear from terror. It shall not come near me. Can someone say hallelujah? Let's go, let's go in our hands and say hallelujah. Okay, this is, this is a, re a real testimony. Last year, last week, my daughter and I, I, I have to decide to take her out because she's been at home and it's not healthy. She, she acting so bad if she's inside the house. So I took her to the park. When, upon going to the park, I see, I see thousands of ants, red ants, like this. She lay down on the grass because she has autism. She lay down on the grass and all the ants on her body Everywhere, her hair, her body, her, her feet, everywhere. And I said, oh no, I was yelling, why do you do that? Then I, I was just yelling. And, and, and people looking at me because I was yelling, why you, Santa, why you do that? And I was, sh I was sh shaking, I was shaking her, her, her clothing and everything, her hair and everything, because the big ants like this. And then she was laughing, she was laughing. I said, oh my Lord, when I look at it, she has, she has no eyes. Not even a bit of, of an ant. Not a one thing. When, when, he, when she went to the bathroom and took a bath, I didn't see no bites of ants with a thousand of ants on her body. But me who, took, who shook off his clothes, I got like six, seven bites of ants. <laughs> and I have a question. I said, Lord, why I, I got bitten and she didn't? 
The Lord said to me, because those who have fear will be attacked. <laughs> those who have fear will be attacked. I said, no, this is my natural, my, 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 my natural reaction as a mother. I'm, I'm here to protect my daughter. Why are you telling me this, Lord? That is my argument with the Lord, the debate. This, why are you telling me this? That's my natural reaction of my daughter to protect her. And God said, do you remember when you had an earthquake in Bakersfield next to the town? What is the town? What is the town that we had earthquake last year, two years ago? Did your town have damage? I said, no, Lord. <laughs> do, you, do, you, do you remember uh, what else did he revealed things to me? Do you remember when, with the same part, when the bees came and attacked your daughter? There were about 100 bees attacking my, my daughter around her, around her, because of the beehive. He dis she destroyed the beehive on that part, on that on that small tree, and they surrounded her. Did she get beaten? I said, no, Lord, not one bite. <laughs> I said, not one bite. This is how I protect my children. Can someone say amen? You are protected by my blood. You believe on my blood. I have shed it 2,000 years ago. You're not only protected, but you've been watched. Can someone say amen? And they'll say hallelujah. Hallelujah. And look at that. That's why I said, Lord, thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord, for, for edifying me. From now on, I believe. That's why I said, you traveled with many things. Can someone say amen? You try, don't be, that, don't let your heart be troubled. That's what it says. I'm big verse 15 now. 15 to 16. Behold, they shall surely gather together, but not by me. Whosoever shall gather together against thee shall fall for thy sake. Hallelujah. You see that? The, the behold, they gather together. It means the spirit of Satan. The, the demon spirit, they gather together. But not by me. But not my children. Because I will say amen. Whosoever shall gather together against me shall fall thy sake. Can someone say amen? Whoever is speaking that negative about you, plotting you to death, plotting you for any kind of negative thing about your life, they shall fall. Can someone say amen? That is his promise. Verse 16. Behold, I have created the smith that bloweth the coals and the fire, and that bringeth forth an instrument for his work. I've created the way to destroy. Hallelujah. The, the enemy is just beginning to attack you. But God already prepared the, the equipment that he has to do with this devil. That's what I mean. I have created you and done the cold in the fire that bring it forth an instrument for his work. I have created the waster to destroy it. That's what I'm saying, man. Remember that? Remember that in the Bible that what God has blessed, no one can curse it. That's what I'm saying, man. Nobody can curse it. No weapon that is formed against thee shall prosper, and every tongue that shall rise against thee shall be thou condemned. This is the heritage of the servants of the Lord, and their righteousness is of me, saith the Lord. And we said, this is the heritage of the servants of the Lord. It says there's no weapon. Everyone say no weapon. No weapon. That is formed form against thee shall, shall prosper. Let's say it again. No weapon, no weapon. that is formed form against thee shall, shall prosper. And every time that, 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 that shall rise against thee in judgment, thou shalt condemn. Condemn every every words that they say about you. If they say you're a loser, condemn that word. If they say that you're gonna die in two months or three months, condemn that word. If they say that you are nothing but loser, condemn that word. Everything you I, I, you you're gonna be you're gonna be cursed. If they say that you condemn that word. That's what I'm saying. Man. It says here, thou shalt condemn, and no weapon that is formed against thee shall prosper. No weapon. This is. You see here, this is the heritage of the servants of the Lord, and the righteousness is of me, saith the Lord. Can someone say amen? Can someone say amen? Here, here, before this, there is no weapon that comes before you. He's always with you, so whatever trouble you have, what is troubling you? 
What is troubling you now? If there's something troubling you right now, give it all to Jesus because he said, don't let your heart be troubled. Are you troubling with financial? Don't let your, your heart be troubled. Are you troubling with your relationship? Don't let your heart be troubled. Are you troubling with your sickness? Don't let your heart be troubled. Can someone say amen? Are you troubling with, with, the, with the salvation of your children and your other, and your other family? Don't let your heart be troubled. He, if Jesus got you, he's going to get them to you. He's going to get them. He's going to search their heart. That's all I say, man. He's going to search their heart. He's going to make a way to search, to seek the Lord. He's going to make a way. Because you are believer. You are your husband's still saved. Can someone say, man? What is troubling you? And it's easier to already to hear in, in verse, uh, let me just repeat this. Is, uh, in righteousness shall thou be established. Everyone say, I am, I am. established. Yeah. God, because we have the righteousness. Thou shalt be far from oppression. You're far away from oppression. And from terror, it shall not come near thee. You sleep like a baby at night. That's all I say, man. That's all I say, man. That's all I say, man. He, 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 he has a covenant to his children. He has his covenant. I will be with you always until the end of time. Can someone say amen? He will never leave us no place. Amen? Amen? Can someone say amen? Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus.